Okay, I have a quick but powerful effect for both amateurs and pros. Amateurs will be able to do this right away with a little bit of practice, and pros are likely to scratch their heads and think, how in the world did he do that? So I have uh, four memorable cards. So as the spectator, you would need to choose four you know, cards from the deck that you can remember. Now for ease, I've just chosen the kings here. So in practice, they could choose any four cards and maybe write them down on a piece of paper to help them remember, okay? But ordinarily, these would be face down. I wouldn't see these as the performer. And then as the performer, what I need to do is choose 12 random cards. Now, of course, uh, the deck, well, you didn't see whether the deck was mixed or not. So let's go ahead and mix it just to show you that these are not in any particular order. So 12 random cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Very good, okay. So it's gonna just mix these up. Now what I get to do, since you chose kind of four special cards, I get to choose my own four cards. So maybe I'll choose that one, uh, those two, and maybe this one, okay? So these are my special cards. Here are yours. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn yours face down, which is what they would be in the real performance, right? Performer doesn't see these, okay? So what you do is you take their cards, the spectator's cards, you put them at the bottom of the remaining eight, you take your cards, and it doesn't matter if they see these, and you put place them face up at the bottom, okay? So that's kind of the situation right now. My four cards, their four cards, and then eight cards above, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do something called the Klondike Shuffle, okay? And this is probably the only thing that might take a little bit of practice for the amateurs to do a client. I'm pulling off the top and bottom as one. That's all I'm doing, okay? Now from this point, we're going to mix the cards with tremendous input from you, okay? So maybe to begin with, why don't I go ahead and just get the cards to mix here a little bit. Okay, and we're going to be flipping cards and you're gonna dictate how many here. So for example, um, should I flip two, four, six? We'll work with even numbers for now and then odd numbers in a minute. Just two, so I'm gonna flip two over, okay? Random cut, flip two again, random cut. You want four this time, okay? Flip those, random cut, two. Okay, that's fine, your choice. Random cut, two again, okay, maybe one more. Four, okay, very good. Now I promise you that we would use some odd numbers here. So I'm going to deal out the cards into odd size piles in kind of a circle, but you're going to tell me what those odd numbers are. So what do you want first? Three? So one, two, three. What about over here? Five? One, two, three, four, five. What about here? Just one? Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> uh, one is an odd number. Now what? Five again? One, two, three, four, five. You want one? That's a good thing because that's all we have left. Okay, so we have piles of, see, piles of one card, uh, five, uh, one here as well, okay? Uh, five here and three. Okay, so I, I need you to point to any place in this circle right here. You want me to stack these clockwise or counterclockwise? It's your choice. Clockwise? Okay, so I'll go in the direction. <laughs> that the clock flows, okay, very good. Do you want to do any more mixing that we did with the flipping over? Just one more? Okay, so random cut, okay. How many do you want flip? Four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so are you satisfied? Okay, very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deal out the cards into four piles, just like so. And I'm going to give you the choice to fold the cards from left to right, right to left, inside out, or outside in. Which of those would you like? Fold from right to left, this way? Okay, so you just go like all that. <laughs> you're folding them like the pages of a book. That's all you're doing there. Just folding them like the pages of a book. Okay, well, let's see what all of your choices has brought us to here. Can you find your cards? You don't see your cards? No way. 
So that means they must be on the other side, huh? So did you choose the four kings? And they'll eventually smile and say, I did indeed. Okay, so that is the effect. So if you do everything that I did, this works for you every time. So just to recap very, very quickly, I want to keep these videos short. That's the big complaint I'm getting that my videos are too long. Spectator chooses four memorable cards. I have my own four cards, and then I have a remaining eight cards, okay? Theirs will go on the bottom, facing the same way as, as these, so they're right there, and then mine go face up towards them, okay? And then you do a Klondike shuffle and then do everything else that I did. I just want to point out for that final folding, uh, I folded from right to left. Left to right is similar. Inside out would look like this. You would go like that, bring these together, and then randomly flip and stack one on top of the other. Okay, and the same thing for outside in. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and I'll add some links in the description below to a series that talks about the principles behind this effect if you want to learn more about it. Also, you may find other videos of interest to you on the Absolute Math Magic channel.